Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to change a sign inside of Adobe After Effects. Another effect from my post-apocalyptic short film Virus. Go watch it if you haven't already. It's linked up there or there, I'm not quite sure. It should be there, I think. Yeah, so let's get to it. What we are going to change in this clip is this particular sign. So we changed the Fleur Holland, is it French? I don't know, to Yannick's Blumenladen, which is Yannick's flower shop in German. I put it in there as a little Easter egg. I don't know why. The short film, by the way, is in English, so go watch it. I just made it German somehow, I don't know why. Also, After Effects is in German. At the time I made the screen recording, everything was in German. Now it's in English, so never mind. The following tutorials I'm going to change. I already did change the language of After Effects into English, so. But as we go on, I'm going to tell you what the English names for the stuff we're using are. So, calm down, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. What you also need to know before taking your shot is, in this tutorial we are going to change a still frame so the shot is made on a tripod, which means we have no movement in the shot, which makes it very, very easy to change the sign. If you want to do the same effect for a moving handheld shot, you can do this as well. You just have to track the movement, which would make it a bit more complicated, but it is possible. But we also can just put some movement in back later when we use the still shot, like for example a little zoom in, or even some handheld camera shake, the possibilities are endless. I even could apply some handheld movement to this shot. Whoa. Whoa. It's an earthquake. I'm kidding. I'm not funny. Okay, so first we create a new composition within After Effects. Of course, our clip needs to be in there as well. Then, as always, we trim it to our needs, cut a little bit at the beginning, cut a little bit at the end. We just want our perfect little shot in the middle. You know how it goes. Now we export a still frame of the clip, so choose PNG sequence in the export option. We only need one image though, so not the whole sequence. This image we then load into Photoshop, because the retouch options are much easier when you use Photoshop, but we will come back into After Effects later. There we select the Spot Healing Brush tool, which is Bereichsreparaturwerkzeug in German. Gross, I know and start painting over the original words in the sign until we have a blank space on the sign. Make sure to take your time while doing that. Take a smaller brush size instead of a bigger one. It will get you way better results when doing this. The better the original letters are painted away, the more realistic the new sign will look. Trust me on this one. For some further retouching, we also can use the patch tool to kind of copy the already good spots to the still bad looking spots like I did right here. Make sure you do this for all the signs visible in the shot if you have more signs, of course, but not just the signs, also for the reflections. This gets overlooked very often in visual effects like shadows and reflections. And this of course depends on whether your shot has reflectional surfaces or not, but if it has, make sure to remove the original sign from these reflections as well, if there are some. Now we export this image as a JPEG or a PNG and hop back into After Effects. There we put the retouch picture on top of all the existing layers and extend it over the entire composition. Then we draw a mask around the sign area and feather it a lot. Mine was at 49 pixels, make it 50. This way nothing in the scene is affected with being a still frame except for the signs. That means for example like people walking by or cars driving by. They shouldn't be a still frame, right? That's why I put a mask only around the sign. I guess. Next we create a text layer where we can write the stuff we want to write on the sign or you could take a logo instead or both or a picture. I don't know, I choose as said earlier Yannick's Blumenladen which is Yannick's flower shop in German and I adjusted the size to about the size of the sign, we can further adjust this later so. Chances are you didn't take a straight shot facing the wall exactly from the front straight on. No, maybe you filmed it a bit from the side like I did right here, which is why we have to make a 3D object out of the title by clicking the little square right here in the layer itself, but also turn it on right here. And now I can't really tell you what to do, it really depends on your shot, just mess around a little with the X, Y and Z coordinates until you get it just right. Again, take your time for this, the more time you will take, the better the end result will B. Of course I did that two times for the two signs in the shot, then we come to the reflection. Here you have to copy the text layer and mirror it, because it's a reflection, everything's mirrored in a reflection, you see? You're mirrored. 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 And then I set the blending mode to lighten and duplicated it one time by pressing command D for some reason. I don't know why, it just looked better this way. You don't have to do it. I did it. And that's it, that's how you change a sign in Adobe After Effects if you ever need to, which apparently you did because you watched until here, or you were just curious. Maybe maybe that's 
how you got here. Also, here's an example where I used this to change a train station sign in a short film about two years ago. I know it didn't look that great. Anyways, that's it from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be awesome if you leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Here you can see the final short film virus where I used this technique to change the flower store sign. And here, right here, is a playlist with more After Effects tutorials if you want to watch more. That's it. I will see you in the next one. You're mirrored again. Mm.